The composer is dead. Composer is a word which means a person who sits in a room muttering and humming and figuring out what notes the orchestra is going to play. But last night, the composer was not muttering. He was not humming. He was not moving or even breathing. The composer's death was very suspicious, and so the inspector was called in to find the murderer and haul them off to jail. I will begin by interviewing all the usual suspects, like all people in his line of work. This composer has many enemies lurking in the orchestra. I swear on my own intelligence and dashing good looks that I will solve this terrible crime. First, I will interrogate the string. Don't be ridiculous. Violins are the stars of any orchestra. If we killed the composer, we would have to find work at square dances or in romantic restaurants. That's true. But the composer is still dead. Perhaps the murderer is lacking in the woodwind. Don't make us laugh. We're much too wimpy and high-pitched for murder. If I were you, I'd question the brass instruments. They're a violent lot. Last night was extremely important for us. We announced the arrival of kings and presidents. We led soldiers into battle and held a parade for them when they got back. Our ears are still ringing from the ruckus. Perhaps you murdered the composer for making you play so loud. Loud? We love being loud. Besides, loud is patriotic, and we suspect that the murder was committed by a foreigner. A foreigner? What say you, French horns? Hey! Leave the French horns alone! They were in such a state last night that we took them out to cheer them up. And after a few drinks, we took the stage, swinging and dancing to the dunk. We were there too! We drummed, we struck up and down, we couldn't get the concert, batted the band, and entertained the audience and rattled the roof. By then we were too mean, too exhausted to commit murder. But the composer is still dead! The Composer is Dead, written by Lemony Snicket.